Hello guys, I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. In this video, I'm going to talk about virtual environments. If you are working with Python projects, I hope you know what is virtual environment. If not, by the end of this video, you will get a clear understanding of what virtual environments are and why is it so crucial for your Python projects. The virtual environment is kind of sandbox for your project. It helps to isolate from different Python projects and you can install certain versions of packages, Python packages, only for that project. Let's say that you have your system that has the Python already integrated into the system. That version of Python in the system has something to do for your system or laptop or computer, whatever it is to run it. So if you start dumping all the different packages on top of that, one day in the future, there might be something broken and you need to debug and go through the hard part. So instead of going through that, you can create an isolated version of projects and you can install as many Python projects as you want. Let's say that you want to share the code with some other people. You write in your laptop, then you want to share that with others. If you just provide the code, then the versions might be different. And also, virtual environments make it easy to experiment with different Python packages. Let's say that you write something and after spending some hours, there is something wrong and you spend hours debugging and nothing happens. But with the help of virtual environments, you can just set that project which is not working aside and start working on the next one so that it has different versions of different packages. Now, let's go into how to create the virtual environment. In this video, I am going to use the VENV module that already comes up when you download or install Python in your system. In the upcoming videos, I am going to create the virtual environments using the virtual ENV package, also with the poetry and also I will show you using Conda. First thing first, let's make sure that we have Python installed in the system. So for that, you can type Python 3 dash dash version so it shows that we have python 3.7.2 in our system by the way i have used py e and v package to install different version of python in the system and i have uploaded a video earlier you can watch that video for that you can type py e and v and versions which will show you different versions of python so now i haven't created any virtual environment and it says that I have 3.7.2 as my global Python version. Let me change the global Python version to the system. So for that, what you can do is py env and then you can say global and then pass it as system. So if you go again and see py env versions, now you can see that our global Python is using the system version of python which comes when you have your machine and then this is the version of python i installed myself now let's go and see how virtual environments are created i have now created two different terminals to demonstrate terminal 1 and terminal 2 are the same for now if i do pip and then if i do list it will show all the packages installed and here is also the same pip list it will show you all the packages installed right so now what we can do is in the terminal one let's create a virtual environment and i will demonstrate how it will be different now for that you can type python 3 dash m v e n v module let's give the name test for example the virtual environment is being created for us and if you do alias it will show us here that there is a, a test being created here and if you now want to activate the virtual environment you can just type source and test and there is a folder called bean and then activate so in the beginning of the terminal you see here there is a test with brackets that means that we are inside the virtual environment test now if you do pip list 
it will just show you the package that comes when you create a virtual environment, the PEEP and the set of tools. So you see the difference that before virtual environment, it is showing all the system libraries that are being installed. And once I create the virtual environment, only the packages that we want to install will be installed here. Here, there is just the PEEP and set of tools. Let's say that you want to install PEEP install flask for example now that will be installed in this particular virtual environment not in the system you know that ve and v or virtual environment creation helps you to isolate packages between your system or with a particular project i have shown the example here with the system but you can create different projects and you can install different versions of flask for example, in this particular demo, I showed you an install Flask 2.2.3. Let's say that you have another client or another project where you need to install Flask 2.1 point something. Then if you install on the same virtual environment, it will be overwritten with the existing one. But if you create a next folder and create a next virtual environment and you can install Flask, different version of Flask into that. Now let's say that you are working on this project and you want your friend or colleagues also want to use the same version of packages that are being installed in this project. You can just export these packages using the pip freeze command. So if you type pip freeze and the greater than sign and give the name, let's give requirements.txt and if you do cat requirements.txt you see that all the packages are being now exported in this requirements.txt. Now you can you can send this requirement.txt file or you can upload with your code this requirements.txt and your friend can clone this or can take this project in his particular computer and first create the virtual environment and install the particular versions in their system. And for installing, they can do pip install dash r and the requirements.txt. This will install all the packages that are inside the requirements.txt. If I type this, it will show that, okay, it's already satisfied because I am inside that particular folder. Let's say that you want to deactivate the virtual environment. You can type deactivate in the terminal and it will be deactivated. You see that the test is being removed now here. Now, if you again do pip list, it will show you all the libraries or packages that have been installed in your system because now we are out of the virtual environment. So yeah, this is all for this video. Now, I hope you know how to create the virtual environment, what is virtual environment and why is it necessary in the Python project. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video where I will be explaining about virtual environment creation with virtual ENV Python package.